Hi, I'm Rod Bergeron, and today we're going to do some plein air here in downtown Coburg. I'm at Peace Park, formerly known as 4th Street Park, and um, it's a beautiful early May day, and we're going to have a look at doing this bridge and the water behind me. So let's have a crack at it. Today we're going to do some mixed media. Um, we're going to probably work in some graphite and some charcoal, and maybe put some watercolor on it afterwards. So uh, follow along if you want, and uh, see what happens. All right, so let's talk about doing a quick thumbnail sketch on this before we get started. So I'm obviously going to hold my page landscape. And if you remember the rule of thirds, we're going to split our page into thirds. And we're going to work from that. All right. So I know that I want to have quite a bit of sky here. And I want to have these trees that are in the background, these trees and the arch of this bridge all right so probably also want to have a lot of the water here and there's some really nice shadows and reflections in the water so i probably want to do some of that also all right so um i think my bridge is probably going to um, arch up like this and there's a lot of railings on this bridge as you see there's also a lot of concrete underneath it. I'm gonna put my water level right around there, which means the reflection is going to come sort of like that. All right, and you see I've got some bugs on here, some happy little bugs. Um, and then this bridge has um, an under, you can see the under part of the bridge so we're going to make that like that and I'm just going to shadow that in try to keep this in frame put some shadow on that and you'll see there's some concrete over here there's lots of little twigs in the background here is where the trees are some taller pine trees here and you can actually you know make a note this is a pine tree trees bridge and then the bridge has a lot of uprights that go all the way from one side to the other. This is the reflection, you can write that in here. And then there's other, a lot of other trees on the other side here, right? So I'm just gonna denote those like that. And that's it, we're gonna get at it. I'm gonna use some bigger paper today and I'm gonna use some charcoal. So I'll let you see what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get to the sketch that I did. And I'm going to work to uh, transfer my, or I should say transcribe, I guess, my sketch onto this big piece of paper. And this is much bigger than I would suggest that most people ever work on when they're outside, but this is, uh, a challenge for me so I'm gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna think about where my one-third lines are on here I'm not gonna draw them on here because I'm gonna to try to not erase today and I'm gonna to try to take from my sketch and transfer that onto here so I know I want my water to be right around here so I'm gonna put that on there fairly lightly and I know that um, around the one-third line right here is where I want the bottom of that bridge to be and right around the one-third line right here is where I want it to um, the bridge to stop all right so I know that this arch has to be joined to this arch and this arch has to be joined to this arch but it disappears underneath the bridge there all right so this side right here actually needs to do that but you're not going to see most of that and then there's the uprights of course so we're going to have the uprights and then there's the top rail of this bridge and then on this side there's the top rail of this bridge all right underneath this bridge is a piece of concrete and on this side of this bridge there's a concrete pad that leads to a path that's coming out this way all right, underneath here is a bunch of rock. There's a tree here that comes up like this. 
All right, there's some pine trees in the background here and some larger pine trees here. Basically, I'm gonna have to change where my water is. But there's a little bit of a hill that comes down like this. Some big stones come down to the water's edge and then water across here, water across here, and water there. So that's basically roughing out my sketch on here. Um, from here, this sort of turns around this way towards me, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. In the water, the reflection of this goes something like that. All right, so that's basically what my sketch is going to be. So I am going to put in, there's a couple of other trees here that I really kind of like. So I'm going to put them in with some graphite. Graphite is really the, uh, you know, the lid on the inside of your pencil. That's graphite. You put those in. And there's some other ones over here I'm going to put in. There's a big clump right here of the of brush and I'm going to completely ignore that. Um, I don't like the way that it blocks the bridge, so I'm just not going to put it in. There's a lot of uprights that go across here. I'm going to do those in charcoal, I think. And um, so yeah, let's work on our charcoal sketch here. There's a lot of debris that comes down here, I guess I should denote, and a lot of debris that uh, comes down here also. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to charcoal. So again, this was graphite. This is a 6B graphite stick. They're not a lot of money. Um, probably two or three bucks for a graphite stick. All right, I'm gonna switch over and grab a piece of charcoal here. You see, I have a whole box full of charcoal, graphite. Um, this is a soft piece of charcoal that I haven't used in a while, so the wind's probably picking up a little bit here, so you might hear a little bit more wind noise. We'll try to diminish that as much as we can. But I'm going to get right at this with the um, with the charcoal. And I'm just going to jump right in here. Put that bridge right in. One great thing about charcoal is that it's very, very black, so there's not many medium that you're going to find that are as black as charcoal. And I'm not putting these in accurately, I'm just putting them in because I know they're there and it makes it look like a bridge. All right? Underneath here, there's a whole bunch of cross members and you know, obscure those a little bit. I'm going to also smudge these in a little bit with my finger. Alright, so this is sort of the pathway, so we'll make that like that. Put some of these uprights in across here. sort of coming off like that. And we have some other ones in the background. All right, so I'm gonna to switch to a different charcoal here. This is a willow charcoal. So again, pretty black, uh, but a lot smaller, you'll see. This has got some good 
light coming through there, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that pretty much like that. Try this charcoal on here. Some more trees now. We have quite a few pine trees back here. And so I think the way that I'm going to deal with them, so I'm just going to put them in sort of sketchy. other small trees back there and then there's quite a few um, pine trees in the background here so I'm going to sort of just denote that like that and maybe put a little bit of that and smudge that around a little bit and add some green to that later. of that bridge in the, in the water. And of course our hill coming down. So if we want to make it look like a hill coming down, we need to drag long lines that make it look like a hill coming down. Okay? Same with this. I'll draw long lines to make it look like a hill coming down. Drag your lines, whether it's paintbrush strokes or uh, paintbrush strokes, or if it's um, paintbrush strokes or graphite strokes, charcoal, whatever the medium, you want to drag it in long linear lines. All right, the more long linear lines, uh, the longer. Um, the longer and straighter your thing is going to appear, whatever it is that you're trying to draw or paint. So I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to put this in again, a little bit blacker. I sort of uh, diminished it when I dragged across it. Uh, one of the great things about charcoal is you can obviously go over it many, many times. Put things back in as black as you want them to be. This post right here is fairly substantial, so is this one. I'm going to put these back in with just a harsh line like that. Alright, that's about what it is that I'm going for here. And uh, I'm going to get out my paints and I'm going to paint this. Alright, I'm working on a piece of, a uh, pretty big piece of watercolor paper. I think it's 18 by 24. And, um, did my graphite drawing, put some charcoal on top of that. I have my Sennelier paint set. I have a three quarter inch wide flat brush and my tissue and just a little bit of water. All right, so remember, you don't want to use a lot of water, especially if you're outside all day, it gets soaking wet. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet all of this background. I'm gonna move this clip up a little bit, but I'm gonna wet all of this background with this fairly large brush and you'll see there's a little bit of blue on it already and um, yeah we're just going to wet this whole area All right so we're not going to worry too much about whether or not we smudge the charcoal that's part of the effect that we're going for here with this is smudging the charcoal all right so I had these two small wells that were filled full of water and you see I've burnt through those already so I'm going to get out my water bottle and I'm just going to fill up a couple of small wells remember just a little bit of water you don't want to be dealing with a lot of water when you're outside you'll get uh, soaking wet and I guarantee you it's not that much fun so part of the effect I'm going for here today is sort of smudged and smeared this and just where we're going to put in some blue that's all we're really going for right now right, just where we're going to put in the blue we're going to let the charcoal just travel to wherever it is that it wants to travel to we're going to mix up some blue paint here 
This is my Sennelier paint set, so the color is very, very vibrant. Um, you don't have to use a lot of color. I'm going to just tap my brush on the page. Remember, just tap your brush on the page. When you're working bigger, you're going to have to use a lot more water and a lot more pigment. But keeping it right on your side like this is super, super handy. Right, I'm going to put a lot of pigment in here. Whatever it is, I think I need pigment. I'm going to put a lot of it in there. It's a pretty big area that we're covering, so. All right, pick up a little bit more blue here. Just like this, pick up some more pigment. Make this a little bit more vibrant. And of course, this is watercolor paper, which you've seen me draw on many times. Remember, I normally draw on watercolor paper because it allows me to paint it if I choose to. And you see, I'm doing more brush strokes than I normally do. And I just noticed that about myself, but it's okay. And let that run to wherever that wants to run to. And out here in the sun, it won't take very long for that to dry. So um, we're just going to set everything down and um, tip our page if we want to. Run that color around to wherever it is that we want it to go to. All right. And yeah, let it dry and then we're going to come back and do some more. Actually, I lied. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to uh, get a little bit more water here. So I'll try to keep this in frame. I got four wells full of water. And I'm going to do uh, the bottom of this bridge. It's a very um, rusty red. And this is... Uh, this brown right here will be perfect for that. I'm going to use my brush. You know, it still has some blue paint on it. Don't worry about that. Get some of that water on here. I'm going to need quite a bit of paint. Now, this is a pretty big area, all right? I'm just going to set this on here so you can see what I'm doing. Get a lot of water. I'm going to pick up some brown. Put that brown into the water. I'm going to pick up a little bit of red, put some red into that brown. Like that. That's what I'm going for right there. Alright, so this is going to be the bottom of this bridge. And it's also going to be most of the bridge, actually. See how black my palette got from the touching the charcoal so you can just lift that right out of there you don't want that charcoal to stay into your sommelier uh, watercolor so i'm going to mix up a little bit more put in a little bit more water here and i'm going to take just a little bit of brown this time put that into this all right this is going to be for the shadowy part of the reflection this as a straight line and then we're just going to do that and that's it that's pretty much all the color that we're going to want onto that right okay so got a little bit of brown in the background here that I could use the rest of that brown for and in here just like that that's pretty good Smudge this a little bit with my paintbrush. Like that. All right. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to mix up a little bit more uh, brown here. Okay. And just a little bit of the Sennelier brown. This is the Sennelier Impressionist set, if you're wondering. And I love these colors on here. When you mix them with the brown, you're kind of muddying it up a little bit so it's not quite as vibrant as it normally is. All right, I'm going to let that dry now and I'll come back in just a few minutes after it dries. All right, so I'm uh, just getting back at it and um, the sun's gone and we're going to just finish this up a little bit. I'm going to put some green in the background here. So I'm going to take my water and I'm going to put a whole bunch of green, a whole bunch of water on here. And I'm going to pick up some green. That's my sommelier green. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to make this fairly intense. I'm going to wet this whole area in here I'm not being super careful with where this is going and you'll see I'm moving quite a bit of that I'm moving quite a bit of the um, charcoal around there I'm going to pick up this green now I'm going to put this green all through here get a little bit of a green tinge going on in here this, move that around quite a bit, pick up some more pigment, put some more pigment in here. Again, this is a very mixed media approach. I'm just trying to get a lot of color variation. All right, so yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. I'm going to let that all run together there. I'm going to put a little bit of um, uh, blue across here for the water and probably make, going to make that a little bit gray. Right now I'm just going to pick up my brush full of this green water and I'm just going to slide that across here. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick break and grab some more water. Okay, so I'm going to just put some more water across here. Getting this page quite wet here. I'm trying to drag some of this charcoal and some of the graphite across the page here, like this. Keep that green going there. I'm gonna try to obscure a little bit of this also. Drag that down through there somewhat. All right. Move some around with your finger a little bit. All right, that's pretty good. I'm gonna put a little bit of this green, a little bit of, a little bit more uh, water on here. Pick up a little bit of my green, my green mucky mess here. I'm just gonna put that green mucky mess in like that. I'm gonna come back here to this wet area pick up a little bit more of this green right here I'm going to put this in here the water has sort of a green tinge to it today so I want to try to capture some of that green tinge of the water all right so we're going to put some of that across there and now this I'm going to make into some more green here so again I'm going to pick up um, some more I'm going to pick up some more water. I'm going to put some more water 
in across here and some more water even yet some more water across here and I'm trying to do this fairly quickly and keep it loose and free and not too tight I'm gonna pick up some more water and put more water into this part of my um, this well right here I'm gonna pick up some of this green fairly intensely put that into this water a little bit more pigment I got to cover a fairly large area here so again I'm going to just put this in some quick long brush strokes just try to denote where some of this green is starting to show up here in early spring some of that like that that's sort of what it is that I'm going for right there You can see there's some more green up here. Hopefully that's going to darken up with some of the charcoal. And this is pretty much pretty much done. Okay, so thanks a lot for having a look. I'm Rod Bergeron, and uh, this is some uh, outdoor plein air. If you learned anything from this video, please click liked. If you're currently a subscriber, I thank you. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you again next time.